this is Dan, and these are the effects and consequences of gentrification in the process where lower income neighborhoods undergo a transformation influenced by wealthier residents. And often what happens is the property values and the rents is increase, which brings displacement to longtime residents. Well, these are just five notable examples, no, not in one particular order. Okay, number five, Austin, Texas. East Austin, um, a lot of African Americans and Latino residents have been displaced, pretty much kicked out economically from wealthier tech people that have a lot of them come from California, Bay Area, and other parts of the world. They're coming in with this tech boom, places like Tesla, building up other high tech industries are coming and it's displacing a lot of the longtime residents and the neighborhood dynamics change along with it. Another example, number four, Portland, Oregon. I believe it's the Alberta Arts District and the Mississippi Avenue where a lot of the low income, low income residents have been forced to leave. Now it's been replaced with a lot of boutiques and a lot of Starbucks on a lot of the corners by a lot of this artist people. Okay, number three, Washington, D.C., especially the Shaw and Columbia Heights area. A lot of African Americans have lived there and they have been displaced by luxury apartments and upscale retail. Okay, number two, San Francisco, the Mission District. Again, a lot of this has to common the tech industry has just come into these areas and it's just risen the values and the mission district well long time in the 50s it used to be a lot of irish people they left they moved out to the sunset daily city south san francisco to purchase homes in the 50s and 60s replaced with a lot of latino people carlos santana i always think about the mission they're unfortunately are now getting kicked out displaced by well, you get it, tech industry. A lot of these commercial buildings are replacing these longtime mom and pop businesses. It's sad. And number one, Brooklyn, New York, especially the Williamsburg in the Bushwick areas. Again, being replaced, these hardworking middle class neighborhoods, kind of the wealthier, artsian people that are coming in, these young and up-and-comers, been driven up the rents and the property values. A lot of this is unattended consequences. What happens to these poor neighborhoods? They're, especially if they're bordering next to a more affluent area. They just kind of slowly take over that neighborhood. Sometimes it takes decades. Sometimes it just takes a few years. Other notable areas that have missed this list. Well, Hawaii is a perfect example. You get a lot of this poor native Hawaiians that can't afford to afford a house. They can't afford to live. A lot of them can't afford to rent. And they're getting displaced, either homeless, living with relatives, or moving to the mainland. California, another example. People, places like East Palo Alto. Those residents are getting displaced by people from Palo Alto and the other, again, techies. A lot of those residents whose uh, parents and grandparents bought homes a long time ago, a long time ago in the 60s and 70s, they're able to sell their homes and move out to places like Stockton, Manteca, Sacramento area. They've been displaced. And what happens in those areas? Those property values rise, as an example. Also, Florida, especially since the pandemic, a lot of people have moved from states like California and other states, New York, and have moved to the area increase the homes so the prices and also the rents in the area. This has a definite impact on the economic and social development of a particular area. Well, if you can, please like and subscribe in the comment section below. Again, don't hate on me. Just a man with a mullet and a dream. Thanks a lot. Goodbye and peace out.